we're doing another tech show and I promise you there are a lot of cool tech finds here. It's the best day of my life. We're in Chiba, Japan, and we're at another tech show. This is CTEC 2019. And that stands for Combined Exhibition of Advanced Technologies, which is basically an expo that shows off Japan's biggest, newest, and weirdest technologies. There should be a number of cool, fun tech finds. Let's go. I found the juice truck. So basically, this juice truck behind me is a Kaisera partnership that allows you to have a self-sustaining business. Let's break it down. Over at the sides, you have these plant boxes from Planet and those lights that you see, they're from Kaisera. They're also connected to these solar panels so you have a whole thing going on there ready for juicing. There's also a Kyocera tracker, yes, that orange thing over there. In the future, they say they're gonna add like internet connectivity functions on the truck which will allow you to track it and all that crazy stuff. It's awesome. Another cool find is this cute little toothbrush which gamifies toothbrushing for kids. But it's not your normal game. Basically, when your kid brushes their teeth, it allows bone conduction to play actual music. You connect it to your phone and whatever you're playing on the phone, as you brush your teeth, you'll be able to hear it. So if you just put it up, just touch to the uh, ear. Oh! I can hear the video they're playing. The kids will be brushing their teeth in no time. Just like it says, this double-decker bus is a restaurant. Up on the second floor is an unroofed space where you can sit down, relax, have a good meal as you see the city. This bus restaurant is actually operating right now. It's a great idea, but you want to see something else that's cool? These apps are listening in on that Japanese city tour video, and it's showing an English translation real time. So that's actually pretty cool. You can be in Tokyo and not understand what's going on, but with this handy dandy app, you'll be able to listen in. And they say that all other buses or transit stations that have this system will be able to do the same. And all you need to do is install the app and you're good to go. Something that's perfect for my long distance relationship so Joshua can make me meals while we're far away. This is basically going. If you've ever dreamed of having robot hands that can do whatever your own hands do, that you can control from a distance, you're in luck. This cool thing is from a company called Shadow and get this, it's being funded by ANA who plan to use it for the industrial part of their business. But in theory, you can use this robot on remote dates and such where you can cook for someone even if you're miles away with robot hands. Those robot hands look very sophisticated and they can do very delicate tasks like let's say stack up cups or even cook a meal including chopping onions or stuff like that. There are even sensors on those robot fingers and palms just so the person who's behind the robot understands how much pressure need be applied. This is why you can do stuff like shake hands with the robot. Oh, that feels so weird. This is the future, folks. I ended up here because there are cute, tiny, floating windmills. But what I didn't know was that in Japan, 
they're actual floating windmills and they're not this tiny and they've been a thing since eight years ago. It's amazing. He's a better dancer than me. We're here at Carbon, which is actually a 3D printing place. But they partnered up with Centauri and they came up with the cutest little thing. So they 3D printed these cute caps and this is one that holds your glasses. Hold your phone because you need more hands. They tell me this is a massager <laughs> and this is just a cute little toy. This one is cool. It's just a whistle. I love this. This is so useful. <laughs> oh my god, it's called Centauri. This one is from Jins, which is a brand we're all familiar with when it comes to glasses. It gives you that cushion at the side so that when it's hot and humid, like there's air going through. Both of those are very quick examples of 3D printing from Carbon. Yes, this machine. Imagine all the cute and very useful possibilities. This cute little pupper, as you know, is Sony's Ivo. But we're finding him at the Hitachi booth. This exhibit is to show how well this pupper plays with this whole smart Hitachi home setup. So they're telling me that this is something that they are planning to do in the future. So this whole kitchen is a closed system and Ivo will be able to communicate with all the other appliances. It can, for example, play with your robot vacuum or if let's say your fridge door was left open, the fridge will communicate to Ibo and Ibo will bark to let you know that it's open or it can bark to let you know when the food is ready in the microwave. This is the kitchen that I really want to be in. It's so cute. And the show doesn't end on the show floor. I quite literally went on my very first autonomous vehicle ride here. Autonomous vehicle meaning there was no driver. The Navia Arma is a car that uses autonomous signals, sensors, and area mapping to bring around its passengers. This thing also communicates with traffic lights to know when to stop or go. <sighs> well, we survived that. Yeah. How was that? Is that fun? Was that fun? Yes, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> a little scary, but it was fun. <laughs> a little scary? Thank you. <laughs> and that is what fun things we found on the show floor just today. So I can't wait to go back and find other fun things. See you there.